So another viewer submitted a question from Nolan Putnam. What's the most helpful habit you've created in regards to screenwriting that's allowed you to become a professional? That's a great question. Um, is there one habit that's been the most helpful? Um, probably we've talked about most of them. Um, probably the most important perspective has been to see it as something I'm always learning and I'm always growing and that that's okay. It's not like I'm supposed to know it all and be perfect at it and the things that I write are gonna just be great automatically and others are gonna love them. To see it more as it's an ongoing quest of kind of a self-development, self-education. I'm learning with everything that I write what works better and and, and not as good so that it's like, uh, it's like this, this journey of development that you sort of like are going to enjoy the journey as opposed to I have to get to a certain place, which it's easy to feel that way because the world works that way where I have to get the agent, I have to get the sale, I have to get something produced, I have to raise the money and make my movie. Like there's all these goals we might have in the world and a lot of times they're out of our control. And if you focus only on those goals, like what I can get, what I can achieve instead of what can I express? How can I just do what I decide I want to do, which is be a writer and be learning and growing and find some satisfaction in that journey? Because when you turn it into, there have to be these quantifiable results in terms of money or others' reactions or whatever, then you're putting all your power in this thing that may or may not ever happen, that you can't for sure make happen no matter what you do. So I think that attitude, it might seem counterproductive because it's like, well, to be successful, you want to, you know, professional, you want to focus on the professional goals, right? Well, you you do to some extent and you are open to feedback and you are list, you, know, you are educating yourself. I didn't say just go in a hole and just do what you want to do and never and shut the outside world out. I'm saying engage with the world with feedback, with education, with trying to understand and get better so it's growth, but making it a positive growth for yourself that is about making me better and making my writing better, not making my results better. Because when you focus on how do I give more, how do I write something that's really gonna impact people more, how do I do that? How do I figure out how to do it? How do I get better at it? You're then about giving to other people. And you will achieve success, I believe, more when you succeed at giving more you will get more automatically as opposed to how do I get the success? How do I get the breaks? How do I get the right person to read it? How do I get people to like it? It's more how do I create something so wonderful that people will just automatically like it? I'm not even concerning myself with that. So it's like taking the power into your own hands and being about how you can improve your stuff and yourself as a writer Having that approach, I think, is a, is a stronger, healthier approach that's going to lead to success more than if you do it the other way. Yeah, that's amazing because, I mean, especially too, if, if you do live here in Los Angeles, which you said that you don't necessarily have to, but it definitely helps, uh, you're bombarded every second with reminders, whether it's billboards or someone going by you of somebody else that's higher up on the proverbial sort of food chain and it's kind of thrown in our face and it's it, it's really wonderful to think of the unplugging from that because that's almost the anti sort of culture here and and then I mean was that something that was always a part of your makeup or you had to learn oh no I have to learn I mean I still it's again it's like an everyday practice that thing again right an everyday practice of being about I'm just about the purity of expression and growth and learning and improving as opposed to the how do I get the result that I want from others it's because it, we don't naturally do it that way <laughs> we have to sort of like decide that's how I'm going to approach this instead Right, and I guess too in the last few years, and not to get too morbid, but we've seen people who have achieved tremendous success obviously not be happy, and then you have to ask yourself, well, then why am I doing this? Yeah, you know, and it has to be essentially, and is is sort of you know fall of your bliss as it sounds, you know, sort of bumper sticker on the back. It, it has to be about that because you know we do see so many people that have achieved these amazing results, and the end result for them showed that it wasn't enough. I do think it really is about making the daily practice, journey, writing, whatever, enjoyable. Being at peace, enjoying what you're doing each day, 
finding a way to make it that way so that the journey is a positive journey and not be so caught up in the destination. Um, because if you enjoy what you're doing, you're going to do it more, you're going to do it better, you're going to want to learn more. But it comes from a certain level of confidence and trust that it's going to it, that it's what you're doing is worthwhile. And if you measure that only in like money or career statistics, you know, you may never get there and you may always be insecure about that. So, um, but people that want to write, usually there's more of like a passion, a, more of a purity of, I just want to do this for some reason. And so if you can really hold to that, uh, as opposed to thinking that what, what the results are of doing it is what matters so much, you probably have a better time doing it. You'll be happier, you'll be more productive and prolific, and the results usually actually will follow from that. And just real quickly, when you before you chose your major for film and television, what was your goal before that? What was your major? Um, when I first started college, I I experiment with being an English major and you know thinking of writing fiction, poetry. I I experiment with being a music major um, briefly, but I pretty quickly you know I took some of the introductory film classes and I realized this was the the medium that I really wanted to try to write for. And and you said just that festivals really aren't about the laurels. I think I heard you say in another interview. Um, I thought that was actually beautifully put, but maybe I don't know. Maybe you didn't say it. I don't think it. I, I don't said it, true. but that's no, probably okay. true. Okay. But that, okay. Let's say you, let's say you didn't say it, but that goes back to what we're talking about. That the the end result, you know, is not really what it should be about. And I know it's easy to theorize that and and, and say these things, and and when then we all have to kind of live in a reality that is life and you're competing with people all the time and that's something that happens in preschool and it happens in adulthood but to really have something that we get from it that's more than an accolade I think is do you think that's what keeps you going in terms of why you continue with it I'm not sure what keeps me going to be honest I mean I think that I keep going like most writers because it's just like what I do it's what I've decided I do what I want to do and I have the I'm engaged with the challenge of getting better and and writing things that really fulfill why I wanted to be a writer. That are the kinds of things I loved that I wanted to create more of in the world. And yes, part of that is well to get it out in the world. I'm going to need other people to help me do that and finance it or whatever. But uh, it's uh, it's kind of like I haven't achieved yet what I wanted to achieve. Even though I've worked on some big things and won awards and made a living as a writer and stuff. There's, there's a lot of the kinds of projects that I always got into this because I wanted to do that I still want to do those. And there will probably always be more of those. So I think there's just this desire to create and express that never seems to quite go away. And it's also just a chosen field and a career at this point. So it's, it keeps me going because it's just the, the path that I'm on and, and have chosen and have no reason to unchoose. Yeah, I mean, I could say the same for Film Courage, and it'd be great to have videos get this amount of views, but at the end of the day, it has to be about, you know, the conversation, yeah. like today's conversation, yeah. and that's worth it for us. That's what we do this for. So I could see, even though I'm not a screenwriter, you know, how it has to be, there has to be something else aside from, you know, well, we're hoping Eric's video gets, you know, millions of views or whatever. It has to be that the process of it was enjoyable, which it has been, so. Amen. Thank you. Glad to hear yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Great way <laughs> to end. For me as well. Yeah. <laughs>